Welcome back to our Fortnite videos. Uh, my name is Joe. I am an engineer for the professional services team at firewolf.com. And in this video, we'll be working with Fortinet to do a DHCP server configuration. We'll be tying a DHCP range to an interface and creating a um, Mac reservation. All right, um, we are going to be working on our Fortigate 60E, which is the lab box for the YouTube production. Um, on the left side, you're going to head over to network. Here you're going to find the interfaces. Um, for this video, we're going to be using a pre-configured interface that we use for other, other videos. Double click on it. So I'm going to double click. This will bring up the um, options for the interface. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see DHCP server. It is already enabled and there is a range already configured. Um, what we'd like to do for this video is reserve a MAC address and an IP for a specific device. Um, that way we can tie this device to other policies in the future. Um, so what we're going to start with is, but first we need to edit our range so we can make room for statics. I'm going to click edit here. We're going to, let's do 100 to, through 200. I'm going to hit OK to save it. Again, double click on the interface and then you'll see the updated output right here. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see advanced options for the DHCP server. Click there. Scroll down a little bit more and you'll see two tables, one for additional DHCP options and the other one for IP address assignment rules. That's what we need. Create new. And here you'll see the option for MAC address or a relay agent. We're going to do a MAC address. Under description, I typically just put the device name or a um, the host name. Um, for this case, we're going to do, let's just do Joe. Um, let's just use show server. The MAC address, I have this on the notepad. Here it is. So we'll grab this MAC address here. It does have to be in this format with colons. It does not accept dashes. Um, and then for the IP, we're going to reserve this. Well, that doesn't make sense. Let's do, let's do 12. Um, that didn't make sense because 100 was in our range and it needs to be outside our um, already established DHCP range. Um, and then this will be a reservation, not a block. You, see, you, you also have the option to block and assign an IP. We're going to do a reservation. Click OK. And there is your entry. Now you, the next step here would be to create, um, maybe create an address object with this IP um, and then you can apply that to policies and it will always have this device tied to that IP address so that policy whether it be um, access rules or security services it will always tie it to this device this IP and this MAC address oh don't forget to hit save Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to see any further topics, please feel free to leave a comment and we'll see you at the next one.